Start your engines for Sony Computer Entertainment Europe production. Fasten your seatbelts for another Naughty Dog creation. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> we are back. We are back. There we go. <laughs> Righty. Hello, and welcome to Crash Team Racing. We are back. <laughs> I took a rather long break from doing these games, but I think it's about time I got back into things. I've changed jobs, I've um, sorted things out, I've made things look a bit nicer. See the little banner that I'm sitting in? It's quite nice. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, sugar. It's gone to the demo. That's my bad. Well, I think this plays the intro, actually. So, for those who don't remember what the plot of Crash Team Racing is, um, this will refresh your memory. <laughs> Greetings, creatures of the storm. I come to compete. So, you pesky earthlugs like to race, eh? <laughs> well, I, Nitrous Oxide, I'm the fastest racer in the galaxy. I I've never been spot any. I'm looking for <laughs> to test my skills. It's a little game I call Survival of the Fastest. Here's the way we play. I challenge the best driver of your world to a race for the planet. If your driver wins, I'll leave your miserable little rock alone. But if I win, I'll turn your entire globe into a concrete parking lot and make you my slave. Concrete parking lot? I should think that's happening already. Get ready to race for the fate of your planet. I mean, it'd make for a heck of a car park meet, but we don't want the whole planet to be covered. Let's check this is actually recording. It is, that's good. Yeah, that's me, I'm reading the book upside down. That's why I never get anything. <laughs> I kind of love this bit because we get to see everyone working on their cars in different ways. I mean, I wouldn't drive back, you just like, you're like filling it with electricity. Surely that's just dangerous. And Crash just isn't bothering because he knows he's going to win anyway. He's the main character. Alright. Let's get going. <laughs> Let's get started. Um, I'm just going to jump straight in. I had a little bit of practice recently. Like, if you were paying attention to my Twitter recently, I did a little bit of a go just to sort of refresh myself on the old controls. Um, I'm obviously going to kick, not tiny. I would, but he's just too big. Like, the, the turning thing is just a bit thing, like, iffy for me. I usually pick... where are you? Not you. That's it. Cat. Well, tiger. And we're there. Oh yeah, I already have one because I was testing. Literally just to see if things worked. I didn't even start. Let's... Let's get started properly. I've also got a coffee, so I should actually be awake for this. It does help, trust me. <laughs> what have you got to say for yourself? Welcome to the Adventure Arena. You can Welcome. travel around you. this area and practice your driving skills. The dots yeah, I'm gonna and stars it. on the map represent warp pads, which lead to races. When they flash, it signifies they are open to play. To access a racetrack, Drive onto a warp pad that has an active warp vortex, and it will take you to the track start line. 
finish a track in first place to win a trophy. As you collect more trophies, other tracks will turn on and open to you. Good luck and drive fast. <laughs> Good luck and drive fast. Okay. Controls working. Okay. Controls working. Game's working. I'm working? Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how I do. I'm not fully confident. I'm not going to try and do the whole game in one sitting. But we'll see how far I get. We'll see how time time ebbs away. Start. Can I get this jump? Yay! use that a second sooner so I could have gotten on the box. Never mind. As I say, I'm a little bit rusty. You're not going to see perfect gameplay of Crash. If you want to see that, go and watch it has. <laughs> i get it this time. Yeah, good. <laughs> I've never been fully confident with that jump, but at least I've got it two times. Had it a bit fine on the water there. Shouldn't really be that far out. Should be close to the inner columns of stone, as it were. Make it three in a row. Yay! <laughs> I say, that's probably one of the easier shortcuts in the game, but I always used to struggle with that. I wasn't really practicing on this stage before, and I was practicing on, like, tiny arena and that. That's usually my favourite, because of all the turns and jumps and crazy tiny arena is. We'll come to that one later. Anyway, good start. <laughs> good start. I'm coming for you, Oxide. <laughs> right. That felt good, that did. That felt good. I'm probably just going to aim to do the main game for now, so none of the CTR tokens or the time trials. Oh, hello there. <laughs> I forgot. Forgot we have race queens, anyway. <laughs> oh, Polo, it's not that bad. Second is still good. Come on. Congratulations. You win a trophy. Okay, what have you got to say for yourself now, Sunshine? The more Wampa Fruit you collect, the faster your cart will go. If you collect and hold 10 Wampa Fruit, you'll be juiced up, and your power-up will become more potent. Juiced up, eh? Okay. <laughs> Where's the next one? Should be just over here. Which one is it? Rouge tubes. Okay. I used to do this one a lot. I used to do this one a lot on Nitro Fueled. I I will admit, uh, for a long time, I was very addicted to Nitro Fueled, which is the the remake slash remaster of this game, plus the other kart games sort of melded together. I think I've got some 300 hours of that. Just, you know, on the Switch. <laughs> It's not even my Switch, it's my sister's. <laughs> but yeah, I've got a ton of time on that. Physics are a little bit different than um, in this, though. There's a few little changes here and there. I don't know why I just fired that. I think I actually just pressed the button by accident, but it means I can get something a bit more useful. I get through here. Yes, but it's a bit slow. Feels different than on um, than on the Nitro Fuel game, as I said. <laughs> Should still be fine to win, though. Yeah, too tight. Too tight on that one. That's okay, though. As I said, I'm a bit rusty, and 
I certainly cannot play this game perfectly. Give it a damn good go. <laughs> I'm just happy to be on this game. It's a brilliant game. I spent ages on this as a kid. I think I 100%ed it. 100%ed it multiple times with different characters. But generally, I'd pick Purr or Polar. Because they were the cute ones. <laughs> I mean, I can't resist playing as a little tiger. Come on. <laughs> oh, damn, I missed that one. I bumped the inside wall. Never mind. The first set of races in this are just sort of practice anyway. And then when you're up against the boss, it's actually starts, as it were, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, two for two, not bad. <laughs> the size of Tiny Tiger. Oh. I mean, you'd think he was on the first podium anyway, because he's so much taller than I am. Congratulations, you win a trophy. I'm gonna get a tip every time. Don't really need them, but. When you get a TNT crate on your head, start hopping immediately. Oh, yeah. If you react fast and hop enough times, the TNT crate will fall off your head before it explodes. <laughs> I like the little pause then. Before it explodes. <laughs> I have to think, these races are kind of dangerous. But then again, we are racing for the fate of the planet, so... They've got to come with some sort of a kick to them. Mystery Caves. Um. Oh yeah, it's got the 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 crocodiles slash turtles that you jump on, and the jumps with the flaming um flaming lava balls that you want to avoid. Less about them, the better. Oh, no, I got it, actually. I jumped over that. Oh, like an idiot. <laughs> How do you jump over a flipping boost pack? Honestly. Oh, there's one over there as well. I forgot that one was there. That's just it. A part of this game, getting the absolute fastest times is just remembering where boost pads are. Play for that, good. Not that I'd ever think of speedrunning or doing any of this stuff fast. And there's people who can do this entire game in maybe a couple of hours, if that. And I just, I would not try. I mean, there's a point at which it doesn't become fun anymore if you're trying to, like, speed through it as fast as possible. I mean, Not to say speedrunning isn't fun, if, if it's what you enjoy, then fair enough, go right ahead. But I, I don't really try and get the absolute fastest times. <laughs> I do repeating the same things all day. Oop. I'm looking forward to getting to the boss battles, because that's when it'll actually become a bit of a challenge. Because right now, because we're in the first area, I think the game has itself on easy mode. There isn't really an easy, medium, or hard for the adventure mode, I don't think. I think you just do it. I think you can only pick difficulty in single races. <laughs> there's one more after this, and then we can challenge um, boss for this area. Embarrassingly, I've forgotten his name. I know it's the big blue one that um, is in the straight jacket, <laughs> so God knows how he drives. Well, he drives with his feet, I think. Yeah, he drives with his feet, but I can't remember his name. Rilla, Ripper, I don't know. <laughs> it's been a while. <sighs> A 
long while. More coffee, I think. Who's on the podium this time? Oh, engine is boiling up because I beat him. Oh, God. Yeah, he's annoyed. <laughs> Careful, mate. You might launch off into orbit. <laughs> I don't know why I went to Australia with them for a second. Anyway, slip of the tongue. Oh, another tip or hint. You can get a hang time turbo from jumping. The longer I've been getting plenty in of the those. air, the bigger the turbo you'll get when you land. For big turbos, try to get extra air time by hopping off jumps using the R1 button. And L1, but you know, it's either. <laughs> Generally, I do use the R1 to initiate a drift and then the L1 to press to get the boost from the drift. Sewer Speedway. Right, Sewer Speedway has a fantastically hard shortcut. <laughs> I can never get the shortcut in this one. I can never get it. And I will attempt, but I'll probably lose the race if I fail it. So I might have to give this one another try if I get it wrong. I also failed to boost starts. It's a great, great start on this. I'm lined up wrong. It's up there. Yeah, it's all the way up there. You have to have a lot of boost already to get that jump. And I just don't know where to get it from. I know you can like, keep a reserve of boost if you've got enough going from hitting boost pads and then boosting afterwards. Like this, I'm holding the... Um, well, I was holding the sacred fire, but it's gone now. But it's when the fire is just the biggest coming out of the back of the... Um, coming out of the back of the carts, but I don't fully know how to hold it properly. I've not put enough research into it because, again, I don't want to, like, be super fast and do the meta of this game, as it were. I just enjoy it. Oh, oh I would have got it then. I should have had more trust in myself. There was me thinking, I'm not going to make that, so I'll steer away. I would have actually got it then, never mind. <laughs> I've got a little bit more chance to get it now because I've got 10 wampers, so the cart is a little bit faster. There is also these barrels which could easily take the wampers away from me. Oh, I might keep that. I might be really sneaky. I'm keeping that. <laughs> it's a bit of a cheap way of getting the shortcut, but I rarely get it, so... I want to go back here. One, two, three. Use it. Boing! Yay! <laughs> I very rarely get that, so I sort of cheesed it for this, but you know. <laughs> Didn't get hit many barrels, so that's great. Not a bad run of this one, actually. I always struggle with this course. It's a course later that I really struggle with, but I struggled to get the shortcut on that one, but I got it this time, sort of. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> you can barely see Dingo Dial for the size of the. The flame canister. The flamethrower thing. <laughs> I suspect if he came any further down the list, he'd have walked over and burnt me to death with it. There he is. <laughs> Ripper Roo, that was it. I was going to say, like, Rilla, Rilla Roo's the, um... Rilla Roo's in Crash Bash. <laughs> Yeah, Rillaroo's the gorilla kangaroo thing. Ripperoo is this blue guy. Blue nut face. Okay. Yeah, he drives with one foot and then the other foot's on the gas. <laughs> I 
but I want to try and stay ahead. Now. Because he's just flinging out a million, I think he flings out potion bottles? I can't remember. Very close. I'm off that. Now this is going to be slower than him taking the corner anyway. He's going to get in front. I can't hit him with anything. <laughs> Thankfully I am actually... Come on. I'm not lined up with it. I want a little mirror. I'm not going to try and do the thing. Uh, back here? Yay, I got him! Yes! That's all I need, really. Just need a little bit of a gap. Back right here, maybe? I don't know where he drives. Yeah, we're good now. Miles in front. Uh, let's try and do it. Bit fluffy that at the end there, but never mind. Victory! <laughs> uh, we're off to a good start. <laughs> what time is it? How long have we been going for? About 20 minutes, not bad. Okay then, we can continue. I'm sorry, Ripperoo. The fly there looking all dejected. Let me get the big old key. You are crazier than me. Have a key. Good luck, you'll need it. <laughs> I seem to remember in the Japanese version, he actually speaks Japanese, he doesn't just cackle away. That'd be interesting to hear. After this one, we'll play the Japanese one. <laughs> no. Congratulations on opening this new area. Here you will find oh, you. four more tracks to race. Good luck. And this one is... I think this is Papu Papu's area. No, we have to drive through here and then get to Papu Papu's through this. Yeah, there's this weird little middle section that you have to drive through. There is Oxide himself. Let's see if it complains. Yep. You don't have the four boss keys to open this door. Beat each boss to get a key, and when you have all four keys, come back here to race Oxide. You know. <laughs> So that one needs two. I think it's this one? Or is that where we came from? No, 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 that's where we came from. From the map, <laughs> of course. Pay attention to the map, Shiro. No, that's where we came from. Oh, the run is over, guys. I keep going the wrong damn way. <laughs> I'm alright. There we go. Right, I'm going the right way now. <laughs> I have played this before, honest, when I was a kid. What's the first one? Coco? Tiger Temple. Oh, that's where, that's where Purr comes from. Shortcut here is activated by throwing something at it, so hopefully I get things to actually throw at the shortcut. It's always the deal breaker with this track. If you don't get a thing you can throw forwards, it sucks. <laughs> Let's 
can go out and get that box. Hello, Coco. <laughs> I never get the jumps right on that, do I? And then we're stuck for a bit here. Please give me something. Yay, I can throw that forwards. Yep. Tempted to keep that, but also I'll give it back. I'll get another box. Just hopefully I won't get a TNT crate. Or a nitro crate. Oh bother. <laughs> I'd say something. Okay. Try again. Give me something forwards. Give me something forwards. Damn it! <laughs> I'm not going through the big teeth this time. Only marginally slower, but it's just a bit of a pain that we can get something. If I get something from this one, I'll keep it. I can use that. Fire that forwards. I was like, oh goodness me. Bouncing off the walls. It's harder to tell my size when I've got the big bubble on. <laughs> Making excuses, I know. I don't know who's in last, but they are well in last. Tiny. Green dot. Oh, it gave me another thing to fire for woods anyway. Have that. I always mess up during the uh, the straight bits on that course. Anyway, we won again. <laughs> uh. Always never know what to do for the straight bits of Tiger Temple. Oh, Cortex, I'm sorry. You'll have to go back to the drawing board and design a better cart. <laughs> Coco's not bothered. She's just updating her Twitter account. <laughs> Congratulations. You win a trophy. Another hint. What else have you got to teach me? You can go faster through turns by power sliding. No to kidding. To access the power slide, press and hold the R1 button while turning hard. I wouldn't have got here if it wasn't for power slide drifting. Not that way, not that way. No! To access this track, you must first collect the number of trophies required to turn on the warp pad. To get trophies, you must race other open tracks and come in first place. That is my bad. I apologize for wasting your time, Aku Aku. I'm sorry. I'm sure that you're busy. Oh. To access this boss garage, didn't realize I was near you it. must come in first place in all four races of this area. It's Papu Papu, isn't it? Yeah. Ugly mug. <laughs> and then the next race is Coco Park. Right. This one's got a good shortcut in Nitro Fueled, but I can never do it in this version. Never do it in the original. I know where it is, it's just hard to do it. Probably just do the track normally. You sort of just drive up there and have enough boost to go back down again. Because it's on grass, obviously, it slows you down. Of course, Coco is currently winning Coco Park. Wouldn't have it any other way. Oh, it didn't get... Didn't get the drift when I wanted it to. No! I definitely pulled back on the stick, never mind. Did not fire backwards. Should be fine anyway. Wait until we get to. Ooh. 
Yes! Yay! I actually used one of those to block a rocket. So just wait until we get to the later tracks. We're not too far in front, to be honest. Big hit engine. <laughs> I was holding it in case of another missile. There we go. Back into the swing of things now. Oh, missed them. I say that as I missed the flipping boost. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, I think I've been doing my boosts too early. Like I'd been, I'd not been hitting them right at the point where it's perfect. I just don't think I noticed in the first couple of races. <laughs> Never mind. Coco, get off Twitter and get back to racing, honestly. He's worse than me. <laughs> Congratulations, you win. Right, what's the next tip? Is it how to make the cart go forwards? Get a turbo boost while power sliding. Are you kidding? Wait until the smoke from your exhaust turns black. Then press the L1 button. If you wait too long, you'll hear a backfire sound and miss your chance for a boost. Gosh, he taught me how to use speed boosts. I haven't been doing that the whole time. <laughs> Papu's perfect. Right. Right, this one has got a couple of tricky bits to it. There's two shortcuts, three shortcuts-ish. There's one that I always try and get, which is a bit of a gimmick. There's also drifting around the whole pyramid itself without touching it, which I've only done a couple of times. Did it on Twitter, though. Ooh, it touched it. Got the pad at the end there, that's the important bit. Now this jump coming up is one that I always miss. I got it, lovely. Good, because I lined myself up to like fall off of the place. And can I get this one? Yay! Lovely! Everything's falling into place. If I can do that during Papu's actual race, then brilliant, but I probably can't. <laughs> I've probably used all my luck now. Too tight. Got the pad, but I've got stuff on the wall. <laughs> I think I've done that before. Oh, no! Not big enough of a jump. That's what I mean. Whoop, there we go. <laughs> I'm okay for that one. It's just getting the um, the little one with the platform in the middle. Can I get this? There we go, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> Did scrape the wall at the end though, so not best. Ooh, yep. If I angled it any further, I'd have just missed the platform entirely. Also missed all three boosts jumping down the stairs, never mind. Ooh. Oh, how did I do that? <laughs> okay, it counted me as landing here, so that's fine. <laughs> Bit of a fluffy one, never mind. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> uh. I like that course, I'm just not great at, you know, bits. 
Did a couple of good jumps. Cortex, don't cry. It's only a game. Oh, my. Oh, my uh, what's the next one? I think the next one is. To get around a tight turn, or to face a direction quickly, use the brake slide by pressing and holding the square button while turning hard. Uh, I don't fully know that. Yes. Oh, we know it's over here. It's Dingo Canyon. Yeah, I forgot about it. No, the brake slide, um, I might actually need that, because there's a future race that I'm just terrible at, but I just don't know how to get a nice boost around it, so I just, I can brake slide around it instead. Actually a useful tip, well done. <laughs> I always get hit by the, um... The armadillo is rolling up the course on this one. Can I make this one? Yay. I don't know what's happened to the road here, but they really need to sort out the drainage. We're in a desert as well, so I don't know how the... There we go. I don't know how the road has gathered that much water on it, considering we're in a desert. Oh! My first TNT crate! Get off my head! Thank you. <laughs> Oh, that didn't even hit me, that hit Crash. Oh, here we go. Stuck in a loop now. Hit by a bomb and then hit by a rocket straight afterwards. Ah, have that. Come here. And you. Not quite Cortex, because I didn't have any things on me, but he got hit by an armadillo. Right, back in the lead. See if I can actually keep it. Oh, bother! I don't know why I thought using a boost would um, dodge the rocket. <laughs> Never mind. Have it. Oh, it didn't count because we're... it deleted itself because we went over a gap. Or it would have gone over a gap. Anyway, we're in first gap. <laughs> Not that. It did hit him. Good. Get the box. Get the pad. Use the boost. Now we've actually got a decent lead. Fluffiest race so far. <laughs> Fluffiest race so far. Good to me. <laughs> I was a little bit worried about that one when we got caught in a bit of a loop on lap two. When we got hit by a bomb and then a rocket straight afterwards. But we're okay. A <laughs> little bit worried. Never mind. Yeah. Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, he's facing the right way this time. We can see the bags under his eyes. <laughs> he stayed up all night tuning his car, and I am sorry. I did too. Bapu much oh, hello. tired of watching puny slugs race so slow. Bapu want in action to lay boom down big. And boom, Bapu is world's best driver. Bapu moves so fast, you munch drags. If you say so, buddy. Nice. So again, if I get the shortcuts, we're okay. But this might be where I come undone as well. We'll see. He's a big guy, you have to drive around him. <laughs> See? He's huge! <laughs> I don't think he uses weapons during the... Um... Yeah, during the actual permit. He starts afterwards. Oh, I'm miles behind. I got him though. That was a good shot, actually. That was miles away. Yay! 
Yes, I've got him. Okay. Ooh. Whew, that was close. I barely got that jump. <laughs> Let's use that. Got it. Lovely. <laughs> I'm not going to try and do the funny jump. Too risky. I'll do this jump, though. Oh, no! Oh, I was way off then. I don't know why I attempted it from all the way over there. Oh, heck. Right. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you for giving me rockets. <laughs> oh, I've missed the pad. the other rockets. I won't do the funny jump. I won't do the other jump either. We'll do it legit. <laughs> Didn't need to anyway. There we go. We're okay. I could have tried for the jump, but risky. Whee! Those will be the fireworks. <laughs> We did it! Thank goodness! <laughs> boy oh boy. Little bit close that one. I nearly fluffed the whole thing, but we're alright. <laughs> uh, we're okay. Uh, and again, Papu is so big, he looks like he won anyway because he's taller than me. They need to make the plinth bigger so I can be higher. <laughs> obviously got a stomach ache or something. Okay. Oh, Papu not himself today. Maybe Papu not eating a big breakfast. Yeah, you should have had your ready break. <laughs> Here is key to help. Oxide much bigger problem for you. Him not as big, but him much more grumpy. Oh yeah, he's grumpy. He's grumpy because we're making progress. Time are we? Uh, I say we carry on. We'll do one more race. Let's do one more race. Yeah, let's get in here and do one more race. This section's got a couple of my favourites. first one. Blizzard Bluff. Okay. We will do Blizzard Bluff and then I think we'll call it. Mainly because I've got to have dinner. <laughs> I'm never very good at the shortcuts here either. So I might have to just bin doing shortcuts at this one. Boulder. Yeah, because there's one over here. Oh, and I never get enough speed for it. So I'm not going to attempt that again now. I think I jumped too early as well, but beside the point, I never managed to get a good amount of speed for it. I know there's one over there as well where you jump over the railing, but I'm not going to attempt that. Sugar, just the wrong way. Do that. <laughs> That's easy enough. I ran into Coco then. No! Oh, come on! That just wasn't fair. I mean, I was hoping that the missile would miss me and hit Coco, because I ran in front of her, but... Oh, not another one! Come on! <laughs> uh.
Never you say, mate. <laughs> right. I jumped way over the platform and I'm like drifting the wrong way again. Well, that was high enough to get one. Never mind. Right. Hold this position. Oh. I had to turn that way to dodge the boulder. May as well have that on. We're not going to get missiles from this far away, though. We've actually got a nice lead now. Oh, bit of a fluffy one again to finish off, but never mind. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. It was 10 seconds faster on the last lap because we didn't get interrupted by missiles and falling off jumps. <laughs> never mind. Ugh. And Kirko's looking up why she lost the race. And our engine is just boiling up as usual. Honestly, I wouldn't stand next to him. I'm kinda pissed. <laughs> Congratulations. You win a trophy. There we go. Do we have a tip? Nope, no tip. Okay. Right. I think we're going to leave it there for that one. Really great game. Love it to bits. And we'll see if we can get a couple more bosses done in the next episode. But I shall say thank you for watching and take care. Goodbye! Cold here. Might go and fetch a jumper. <laughs>